Do you remember that? I robbed their hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? When was I robbing a? Did I rob? Oh. That was a, Okay. Here's the thing. Josh always thinks that I'm there for everything that happens. He got mad at me when I first met him. He was like, oh, I'm so pissed at you that you weren't at Freedoms when she was born. I was like, my guy, I didn't know you. So often I had to tell him I wasn't there. And he was like, oh, but you were there. I was like, nope. So I was not in front of a bank with a ski mask. See, always, see, this is where it starts. Yeah, exactly black people always blaming black people. G, pay. Act like you know, don't act like you're slow. You ready? Let's get it. You don't want to get in the mix, I'm about to stir up some trouble Went from skipping rocks on the puddle to defining my hustle Where niggas was when I was helping selling hats at the swap Physically I'm free but mentally I'm trapped in the box Brandon was in London and I wanted to write something so I could uh, go film with Brandon It was around Christmas time and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to write something about Christmas And so I wrote this whole film that was set in London And then we realized that that budget we don't, like, we don't have that budget. So then we thought, all right, I'm gonna write something for, that we could shoot here in the States. And London is such a really awesome Christmas town, like, it just feels like Christmas and snow. And the only other uh, city that I could think of that felt like that is New York City. And so we then started writing a movie called Christmas Eve uh, that would be shot in Brooklyn uh, and in Manhattan. We took the crew from Fort Lauderdale up to New York and shot the majority of this thing. Raphael, who was in another f uh, film that we had did uh, many years ago, uh, took the lead on this role and him and Elisabetta had such a great chemistry with each other, despite how absolutely freezing it was. So the first time we went up to um, New York to shoot Christmas Eve, it was in the dead of winter. So of course it's gonna be very, very cold and New York cold is very unforgiving. Even though you're surrounded by a bunch of buildings and you know you get little warm pockets, that wind was insane. So we just had to deal with that as a crew, just to, to buckle down and just ride through it. A part of being a small studio is to quickly find solutions and to innovate with what you have. I mean, uh, our studio is based in Florida and we're shooting this in New York, so obviously we, we don't have all of our tools at our disposal, so some of us had to go on rollerblades to get some tracking shots, some of us had to hang on outside the cars to get a shot, just just a bunch of crazy stuff. But and I, I think that's the fun of it, because if, if we all know the answers to it already, then I mean, what's there's no experimentation. So I would say one of the most memorable experiences of the whole trip was doing makeup in the car and just doing makeup anywhere really, but specifically doing makeup in the car. I remember uh, one scene with Elisabetta, I had her in there and we were doing like some shoots where she was wearing her hair up and then she would have to pull it back down. Uh, some of the shots were out of order, so I just had to be very adaptable and quick with bobby pins. We even had one scene where she was just pulling down her hair and it looked like it was a total updo, but there was actually just one pin holding up her hair and it came out beautifully. I was really proud of myself for that moment. <laughs> but she was very adaptable to doing makeup in the car and honestly, sometimes with moving, it can be hard with like eyeliner and lip liner and all that kind of stuff, but you really just make it work. You you try your hardest and you you just make it work. You're passionate about it. It's your job. It's it's what you love to do, and you gotta make these people look good. We didn't have a chance to scout any locations ahead of time, um, but luckily for Josh and I, there was some downtime um, while the crew was getting some lunch, so we decided to walk through Brooklyn and walk through Manhattan, and we're going up all these different bridges, we're finding all these different alleys, and all of this stuff. The good thing about New York City is the city's just like made for filming, so like something that would, I don't know, probably be a regular alleyway in another city, it's like a film set in New York City. So um, location scouting for us just kind of worked in our favor by being on foot and being able to kind of just walk through New York and find uh, places that would fit for the script and what we were trying to do. A lot of people know that we're an all red studio. Um, after we, we shot Christmas Eve uh, on a bunch of red cameras, when we came back the second year, we had the Red Monstro. That camera is amazing. It has a Vista Vision size sensor in it and it could see pitch black. I think it's incredible. You know, obviously the limitations is that we can't just bring a big camera crew with lights and stuff like that in this huge tour spot. So uh, we bought some lights and for the most part, the one camera that really picked it up was the Monstro because that thing eats up light like crazy. 
I mean, you can literally shoot in the dark and everything would be beautiful. And finally, we had this, at the same time, we're color correcting as we're doing audio and we're following, fo doing some Foley and getting that right. Uh, it was a beast. Every day seemed like, what are we gonna do to get this film out? And we took every single day all the way up until the theatrical release to package this film. One of the best feelings for me personally was uh, that Friday night before we actually premiered it, Josh, myself, I think Beth, I think you were there as well, we're all in Josh's office and we're like watching the, the final version of this thing. And after a whole week of just like grinding it out and doing Foley and color correction changes and all the things we were doing, we we all just felt like, yo, we have an actual dope film. <laughs> you know what I mean? And all of the work and the cold nights and the sleepless nights, all of that shit was like worth it. Like it didn't even matter at that point because now you got a finished product. And then two days later, you're in a room full of people and they're watching the same thing we just watched and they're feeling the same way. So those are like priceless feelings. You can't pay for that. The whole community came out, the studio was packed, and the film was received so well. We had such a short amount of time to get this thing out to be on Amazon, and when you're releasing something on a national platform like that, which for us, this was our first time, um, we wanted it to be awesome. Subtitles had to be done, all these uh, different formatting had to be done, and we had to be accepted by them to get it on there, and, and it worked. The film is up on Amazon. Not only is it, it's a, it's a movie that you can watch anytime, not just on Christmas, but there's something about um, the Christmas time that makes that film just feel right. <laughs>